Okay, so we are going to establish a southern drawl using two characteristics. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go over two characteristics that the southern drawl uh, entails. We're going to drill them, and then we're going to do a monologue from Pandora 2011, Accounts of the Curse Shopping Center. Now, if you need more information, you can also look at Speak with an Accent. All this information, the, the characteristics, the monologue, and the two sources are available in the link. It's all typed up for you. You can print it out and uh, you can follow along. I'll be actually queuing you if you wish to do that. So the first characteristic you can use, sort of a change you can use to establish the southern draw, is this. Ah, as in lot and father leans toward all. In other words, it'll sound like, and you may repeat after me if you wish, lot, father, knock, locked, shop, spot. So that's the first change. The second change is that the R vowel becomes exaggerated. And you say, what? An R vowel? Well, if R begins a, a syllable, as in, let's say, rat, well, then the R is going to be the same, whether you're doing Southern or Standard American. But if it ends a word, as in for or here, now what a typical American will do is they'll say for and here, and we hear so the R go back, the tongue goes back a bit, for, here. But with a Southern drawl, it tends to be more exaggerated, like for, here. And it becomes a little more nasal on account of that. Started. Perfect. Girl, care. All right. Now, what I suggest you do is you take a quick look at the monologue down in the link underneath this clip, and you try reading it, trying to hit these two changes. And when you're done, I'm going to read it for you, and you see how you did. We might do that. All right. So here we go. The last time I saw Alma McDowell, her father was checked in at four, and at three. Or at 8, there come a knock on the office door. It was locked because I was taking my break. Thing is, I was across the parking lot at that malt shop. Seeing how it was springtime, the night was perfect for sitting out so I could hear her knock. Well, by the time I got up, went through that shop, and came to the office door, that girl done started knocking on motel room doors. At the time, I thought she was the man's girlfriend or something, so I kept out of it. Besides, the office phone was ringing, and Betty Lou, that's my boss, does spot checks from time to time to make sure I answer the phone. Personally, I don't much care for the phone. I answer it, but I don't like it, you know. You never know who's on the other end of the line. So hopefully this was helpful, and best of luck with your southern draw. Y'all come back now, you hear?